Welcome to Gemara Academy. In this class, we will learn the Sefer Shabbos, Tav Beis Amid Beis, and Tav Gimel Amid Aleph. Let's begin with a general outline. The Mishnah says it sees a Shabbos Shtaim Shen Arba B'Fnim or Shtaim Shen Arba B'Chutz. The Mishnah tells us that there's a total of eight cases for your Tzias Shabbos. The Gemara will ask that the Mishnah starts off saying there are eight cases, but when we actually read the Mishnah, we find twelve cases. The Gemara will also ask why is it that when two people did a malacha, each one doing part of the malacha. There's an Isser, but there's no Chi of Chattas. If a Malacha was done, there should be a Chi of Chattas. Let's begin by looking at the flowchart. The Mishnah says, There's a grand total of eight cases. If Masna asked Abaya, Hani Tam Yahavin, are these eight cases? Tarti Yahavin, there are twelve cases. We don't have eight cases, we have twelve. How do we arrive with the number twelve? Each person has two cases of Chayiv. And additionally, there are four cases where each is part of the malacha, so each one has another four cases of usr. Let's see how those cases are. Let's look first at the ani, and then we'll show it how it is by the balabais. The ani either did the entire malacha of achnasa, or the entire malacha of etza, so he's chayev. So we have two cases of chayev for the ani. Additionally, there's another four cases for the ani. Four cases where he did part of the malacha. Two by achnasa and two by etza. Let's look at the achnasa first. He either lifted up the item and extended his hand inwards, or just lifted up the item, and in those two cases, the balabayas completed the malacha. But the ani did either the lifting and extending, or just the lifting. So two cases where he did part of the malacha of achnasa. Then there's another two cases where he did part of the malacha of etza. What are they? If the balabayas lifted up the item and extended it outwards, or just lifted it up, and the ani completed both of those malachas. So the ani was involved in another two malachas of Eitzah. So we have a total of six cases for the Ani, two cases of Chayiv, and four cases where he did part of the Isser. And the same is for the Balabayas. Either the Balabayas did the whole malacha of Eitzah, or he did the whole malacha of Achnasa. Additionally, he has another four cases where he did part of the malacha and he did an Isser. Two by Hetzah and two by Achanasa. Let's look at the two of Hetzah. Either he lifted up the item and extended his hand outwards, or he just lifted it up, and the Ani finished the malacha in both of those cases. But the Balabayas began the malacha and he participated in an isser, either by lifting up his hand and extending it out, or by just lifting up his hand. And then another two cases where he did part of the isser of achnasa, where the ani lifted up the item and extended his hand inwards, or just lifted up the item. In both of those cases, the balabayas completed the achnasa, so there's two more isserim. So each has six cases, two of chayv and four of asr, for a grand total of twelve. So Abaya responded to Rav Masna, on the taimech, and according to you, shisrei havin, there's 16. Why do you ask that there's a total of 12 cases? You should have asked. The Tana starts with 8 and then actually counts out 16. What does the Tana count out 16? The two cases of the person didn't do the malacha, but was there. In the first cases of our Mishnah, it says, Pashat bala ha'ani yasyade lifnim v'nasan l'seich yadash al-balabais e'shal natal metecha v'hetzi. The ani did the entire malacha of achnasa into the hand of the balabais, or he did the malacha of achna of etza from the hand of the balabais. So to the balabais, did the entire malacha of etza into the hand of the ani, or he did achnasa from the hand of the ani. And the Mishnah goes on to say, ha'ani chayiv, when he did the whole malacha, or balabais pater, because the balabais did no part of the malacha. In the case of the way the Balabayas did the whole malacha, it says, Balabayas chayev ha'ani pater. So the Mishnah actually also talks about another two cases where the person didn't participate in the malacha, but was there. Ramasna responded to Abaya, Halei kasha, that's not a question to me. Bishlim above adresha pater mutter le'kotani. It makes sense to me in the first cases where one person did the whole iser, so that person is chayev. So when it says that the other individual is pater, it means to say it's pater and mutter. So we don't have to count that case, because since it's mutter what the person did, it's not an actual case. El above the sefer, the pater of al asr, but the above the second series of cases where each person did part of the malacha, why didn't it teach it? The Gemara now asks on this answer of Rav Masna. Rav Masna said that when the Mishnah says pater in the first cases, it means pater u mutter, because since the person took no part of the malacha, the pater is pater and mutter. So the Gemara asks, is it true that when it says pater in our Mishnah, it means pater and mutter? But uh, Shmuel taught, taught us that throughout the Masech the Shabbos, whenever it says pater, it means pater but also except for three cases. If a person traps a deer, a snake, or pops a boil. Only in those three cases where the Mishnah says regarding the person doing one of these three actions, that it's pater doesn't mean pater and mutter. And over there it's explained, elsewhere it's explained why it's pater and mutter and in what conditions. But at any rate, those are the only three times it says pater that it means pater and mutter. And our mission is not included. So in our mission, it says pater, it must mean pater and asr. The Gemara responds that ki is Shmuel. Why did Shmuel need us tell us that when it says pater, it means pater 
And mutter, that's if the person did something. So you would think it says pater, it means asr, because he did something. Shmuel needs to come and tell us now it means pater and mutter. But in our Mishnah, where the person did nothing whatsoever, he didn't participate in the malacha, obviously when it says pater, it means pater and mutter. And there are many such cases, the Gemara says, in Mesech the Shabbos, that the person did nothing. And it says pater, and it's obvious and clear that it means pater and mutter. At any rate, the Gemara says, so now we understand why it doesn't count 16 cases. But why don't we count 12? 16 we don't count because 4 entirely mutter. There's nothing to count. However, we do have 12. The Gemara answers that the Tana only counts Pturi de Osibul de Chiyuv Chatas. The Pater cases that, could, that through them a person could come to a Chiyuv Chatas, Kachash of the Tana counts. Pturi de Loy Osibul de Chiyuv Chatas. The Pturim cases that the person cannot come through them to a Chiyuv Chatas, Loy Kachash of the Tana doesn't count. What this means is that in the cases where they both participated, it only counts it as a case for the person who did an Akira, since that can bring to a complete Malacha. Rashi explains as follows. When the Ani lifted up the item and extended it inwards, or just lifted it up, in those cases we count that Isr, because the Ani could come from that action to complete an entire Malacha. He started it off, he might come to complete the Malacha. However, the cases where the Ani finished the Malacha, the Balabais is the one that started the Malacha. He lifted up the object and extended it inwards, or just lifted it up. And the Ani completed those two cases, there the Ani can't come to a... Com- to a, to a chiyav chadas, to a malacha, because he only did the second half of it. So we're not counting those cases for the ani. We need to eliminate the two cases where the ani completed the hitzah. And the same for the balabayis. We're only counting the cases where the balabayis started the malacha of hitzah by lifting it up and extending his hand outwards, or by just lifting it up, because he could come to a complete malacha. But where the balabayis completed the malacha of achanasa, those two cases, we don't count since he can't come to a chiyav chadas. So in other words, our Mishnah is only counting cases of Chiyav Chathas and cases that could bring to a Chiyav Chathas. Although the other cases are Asr, but the Tan is not counting them. The Gemara now asks, we're saying that if a person does part of the Malacha, he's not Chayav to bring a Karban Chathas. The Gemara asks, why is he not Chayav to bring a Karban Chathas? But a Malacha was done between the two of them. Between the, between the two individuals, a Malacha was done. And therefore, the person who completed the Malacha should be Chayav to bring a Karban Chathas. The Gemara answers, that we learned in a b'risa that tells us the pasuk that speaks about the chiyav chata says if a person among from among you from ma'ama earth from among the people ba'aseisa that does one of the things Hashem said not to do, so we learn from there from that pasuk that only if the person does the whole malacha does he have to bring a carbon chatos. But if he did part of it, he doesn't have to bring a carbon chatos. The Pasuk says if a person sins by doing ba'aseisa one of the things that are usher, he must bring a carbon. This is referring to the general chiyav chatos. We, we, we break up the word Ba'asaysa to read Ba'asaysa If he does it, he brings a Chiyav Chathas But not if he does part of it And the Brisa concludes If one person did the Isser, there's a Chiyav Chathas But if two people did the Isser, there is no Chiyav Chathas And the final part of our Gemara is we present a support to this teaching That it was taught in the base Medrash Ba'asaysa tells us that if one person does the Isser, there's a carbon But if two people did the Isser, there is no carbon So to summarize, the Gemara explained why is it that our Mishnah starts off saying 8 and then presents 12 cases? And we explain that we're only looking at the cases where there's an actual Chiyav Chathas or an issue that can bring to a Chiyav Chathas. And there are only 8 such cases. We also explained why is it that there's no Chiyav Chathas when two people did a Malacha. And the reason is because only when one person does a Malacha is there a Chiyav Chathas, but not when two people do.